What's up guys? Today we are heading out to the dry tortugas, but right now we're actually trying to pull a pinfish trap. I'm a little bit worried about the, uh, the pilchard situation right now because the wind has been blowing super, super hard. The entire south side of Key West is loaded up with shrimp boats right now. And what happens when that wind blows like this is it gets really muddy and makes the bait really hard. So hopefully today we get this bait and we can get out of here and uh, go kill the fish offshore. This is a frozen block of chum. We call this breakfast of champions. All right guys, we weren't able to get the uh, pilchards today. So we already got our pinfish luckily from our pinfish trap and that's why we have it. Good old reliable pinfish. Um, they're just a hardy bait. We use them out here every day. Today that's what we're gonna be using because that's all we got. So we're heading offshore right now. We're gonna start doing the main part of our fishing trip today. And uh, let's go, here we go. to grab a rod and jump I couldn't take it anymore I was looking at the bottom machine and it was just lit up so um, this storm has this water just all churned up and green it's it's blown a lot of that muddy water um, from the inshore and the reef area it's blown it out here into the into the bluer water so um, you never know how that's gonna affect the bite sometimes it helps it sometimes it that's doesn't fish. yeah no, he's on a good fish in your hip. Wait, 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 he's getting you in the bottom it might be a black Try. Put the butt of that rod in your hip. Keep them coming, keep them coming. You're doing good. Careful. Careful. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, I almost pulled your pants down. <laughs> Where's my gap? Almost lost a guy here. <laughs> Might need some help, cuz. No, 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 no. You got this. You got this. Don't even don't even start with that yet. You just started here. You got him coming. Seven roll. <laughs> you ate seven rolls this morning? Breakfast. Made you a little top heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming. That's a nice fish. I'm not making any progress. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He was rocked up. That fish had you in the bottom for a second here. Keep them coming. Keep nice, consistent pressure on them the whole time. There you go. Good job. Good job. So a lot of times, and we don't know for sure what this is, I suspect it's a black grouper, but a lot of times these grouper will run you down into the reef. And what they do when you go down there, if you were to jump in the water and go look, they'll flex, they'll flare their gills and spines out and they just kind of lock up in the hole. And if they don't get in, this one didn't get in too deep because he kept pulling on it. But sometimes what we have to do is back completely off the drag put it in free spool, let our line out and make him feel like he got away. Let him relax a little bit. Give him about 30, 40 seconds. And sometimes you have to do this like five, six, seven times in a row before you finally get him out. But you'll hammer down, reel down on it is really hard and then try to get him out of the reef and surprise him and get him out. And then, then it's a fight again. And you have to start all over again because he's gonna try to get back into the rocks and do it again. And uh, sometimes they win, sometimes I win. Here it is. Here it is, right here. Yeah, looks like a black, black grouper, buddy. Exactly what I, that's what I was hoping it was. Big black. Woo! Yeah, baby. Nice, keep them tight, keep them tight. Yes! 
Yes! Big boy. Here we go. Wow, what a stud. Come over here. Come over here. Hold this sucker. Put your hand like it, not in the red part of the gills. Don't let those gill rakers get you. That is why we go to the dry tortugas right there. That's a black grouper. And you can see, I thought I saw some scratches on him here. Yeah, there's another Yep, see the scrapes right here on his belly? Yeah. He didn't have you in too heavy a bottom, but he did have you rocked up for a second and you got him out. So, good job. A lot of, a lot of guys will be, um, they'll be asking like, what's the difference between the gag groupers and the blacks? I had a guy just the other day ask me, and if you look right here, you see all these, these yellow spots on them right here? These gold spots that come down, those gags don't have that. They'll have very similar markings like this, this kind of marbling or checkerboard that comes on them. They'll light up like that sometimes, but blacks also have these big black bars. That's where they get the name. You'll see them on their fins, and the really big ones, you'll just get a big, thick black bar back here on their tail. This one here is probably about, I don't know, 35 pounds. But um, we get them up, we've gotten them up to almost 80 pounds out here. So that's a beautiful fish. Good job, Jeff. 35. Right on the money? 35. Huh? Yeah, that's a pig. Not too, not too often get some weights these days, huh? Yeah. Well, stick them in the box, let's do it again. I thought you were gonna feed yourself. Nice fish, dude. Hey, let's, uh, it's a heck of a fish. Let's get a shot for Daiwa that, and if that was on, keeper. If that was on 20 right now, right now that fish would be a world record, an IGFA world record if that was on 20 pound test. We just got a nice black grouper here. Um, I'm getting ready to send back. While, while he was fighting that black grouper, I was sending this down and I ran back there to help him out and this rod got destroyed. <laughs> and uh, we, so we probably think we lost another big boy. But I wanted to show you guys real quick this rig. This is a, a Daiwa uh, Saltiga Bay Jigger. This one's covered in salt and rough, just like me. But um, I got what, what we use basically for our rigs. This is a pinfish. This is a 5.0. I normally like using a, a Mustad 94-151, which is just a live bait hook. Uh, we hook them dead center in the bridge of the nose. And um, the reason for that is when we're dropping, when we're reeling up, all of that, the fish is always swimming forward. That's why I like this this uh, style of fishing with them uh, so much better. And then, so 10 feet down, or this, this goes 10 feet up to a swivel. And we tie our swivel on here, and then we let our six ounce sinker slide on five more feet of mono so it doesn't twist so bad. And the reason for that is, when we do that is once we hit bottom, that line can still, that sinker hits bottom and that pinfish can just swim down there. The fish can grab it and I'll just feed it to them. I'll let them keep running with it. And uh, sometimes down there, you'll have a grouper or some mutton or something like that. They're really finicky. And once that bait gets down there and starts swimming around very naturally and everything, that's when they're gonna hit it. Oh yeah. I got small. Oh geez, look at that shark chasing that red snapper right now. Look at him. He's biting him right now. Look. Leave that fish alone. Come on. Dang. Come on, fish. Rock. Don't you touch my screen. Get out of there, fish. Jeez, so. Shark is hungry, man. He's <laughs> I think that's his brother. Look at that. Best eaten fish in the ocean right there. My very favorite. I swear the fillets are the perfect thickness. They're clean, no parasites. It's just one of the best fish I've ever had. Awesome texture. They have almost a, a hogfish texture and a grouper taste. They're just phenomenal fish. The scamp grouper. Hey guys, Captain Billy Dell for Dell Fishing. Thanks so much for watching this episode. We're, this is brand new for us. This is our first episode. We weren't even planning on filming today and we ended up with a great episode, had some nice fish. These guys ha were super happy. That's gotta be that guy's personal best black grouper by the way he fought it today. And um, it, it was fun to see them do it. Um, Joanna today had a huge shark at the end of the day. I thought she was gonna die, but um, we just had a great time doing it. Uh, we're glad we could put it out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. 
We got a lot of great ideas uh, and things that we want to show you guys this season. So please don't forget, like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.